Hello and welcome to the NBA betting picks video for December 21st. We got games on TNT, including the Indiana Pacers at the Miami Heat. Two teams that we don't get to talk about as much, so pretty excited to have them on primetime. And we got a one and a half point spread in favor of Indiana. I'm your host, Matthew Amato for Lions.com, here with my resident NBA experts, Drew Norton and Jason Gilbo. And Drew, you you were responsible for picking the spread, and who'd you go with? Yeah, the Pacers were at uh, two and a half not too long ago, so it looks like the uh, spread's tightening a little bit, but I'm, I'm on the Pacers, minus one and a half. The Heat don't have Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, P.J. Tucker, Markeith Morris, Caleb Martin, um, Tyler Hero is questionable with a quad injury. He's missed his last three games, and I haven't read anything that indicates whether or not he's playing. But if he doesn't play, that's going to be a big hit. And even though the Pacers are on the road, I would definitely lean Indiana. Um, you know, he's averaging 25 and four on the season, so he's obviously a major contributor. Um, if he doesn't go, it's going to be up to Gabe Vincent and Max Struess. And Max Struess is a hooper, and Gabe Vincent's actually had a couple of good games too recently. So they're capable of filling it up, but they did just lose to Detroit Pistons. So we obviously don't feel all that great about that. I'm a little concerned about matchup problems for Miami. I mean, Deadman guarding Turner, Sabonis, I just I don't see that ending well for the heat. I think the Pacers also have more depth on the perimeter. I mean, outside of McConnell, they have everybody. They're not really dealing with COVID as much right now as other teams. So really I I just, it's hard for me to go against the Pacers, even though I kind of can't stand betting them against the spread for obvious reasons, but I have a very hard time believing that um, they're going to lose to my here. Jason. Do you agree with uh, this biases that we're dealing with with Drew? You know, you, you don't have to worry about me with any bias, you know, for the Pacers, but I do agree. Um, yeah, as Drew pointed out, like it's one of those games where it's just heavily one side in terms of the injury and COVID list. Um, and the Pacers are actually one of the few healthy teams right now. So I'm with them. It's going to be big mismatches down low. Uh, just no one there to guard Sabonis and Turner. And then getting Brogdon back. Um, you know, pretty good matchup. Like Kyle Lowry is not quite the defender he used to be. So I expect them to pretty kind of roll with ease in this one. Um, as far as the over under goes, um, sitting at 208 and a half on most sports books, you know, kind of have already adjusted to the Heat playing some lower scoring games of late with those names mentioned out. Um, Tyler Heroes, obviously, I feel like a bigger one who can kind of actually even swing this one a little bit more. Um, but he's been dealing with that quad injury. I'm going to probably actually say he's more doubtful than he is probable for this one, which obviously even benefits the Pacers even more so. Um, but when we look at these two teams, usually just kind of a more defensive matchup. Uh, unders eight and three over the last 11 meetings. Um, this has been a Heat team that started to play more unders just because of their injuries, not quite getting that shooting that they're used to. And these are also still two decent defensive teams. I expect the Pacers to put up points tonight, but I don't really expect the the heat to put up a ton of points um, kind of like, as we've been seeing in their last few games, um, the unders hitting two of the last three with these injuries. I'm kind of just keeping it at the same pace. Like there's just not going to be a ton of offense. There's not a ton of outside shooting for the heat to take advantage of kind of really the only weakness, I guess you could say from the Pacer side, even though they're kind of middle of the road. Um, but outside of that, like I don't expect a lot of scoring down low. Yeah. I'll take the under here. All right. So we got, Pacers minus one and a half, under 208.5, and we actually have a game with player props. It's, it feels like it's been an entire month since I've been able to say that. So let's head over there. And uh, Drew, what or who is your favorite player prop for tonight? Well, there's a couple things I'd keep an eye out for. So the first one is the Kyle Lowry double-double. You're getting plus odds on it, even though it's hit four of the past six games. I think Lowry's going to be leaned on heavily in terms of usage. I mean, he's definitely going to hit double-digit points. That's not a concern for me. It's whether or not he gets double-digit assists. I think he's going to. The Pacers have kind of a middle-of-the-road defense right in that like 14 to 16 range. So I, I don't think it's exactly like going to be like lockdown defense. Now, obviously, the Heat don't have a ton of real scores, but they do still have guys who can hit shots off of passes. 
catch and shoot guys like Duncan Robinson, Max Struess, Gabe Vincent, guys who can fill it up if, you know, the ball is sort of passed to them. They're not great isolation players. Now, another one I would keep an eye on is if Max Struess, if there's a player prop for points on him. So I haven't seen anything come out yet, but I would keep an eye on it and see if they do drop one at some point because he's had 32 and 24 in his past two games. And if it's anything in the teens, 15, 16, I'd be all over that. He's a he's a very strong scorer, and he plays on this very deep heat team, so he hasn't gotten a ton of opportunities to really show himself and, and get enough tick on the floor to really put up games like that consistently. But if he was on a team like the Pistons, he'd be putting up 15 to 18 a game, no problem. Yeah, makes sense. Jason? player prop um yeah as drew said there's really no one to kind of contend with miles turner uh down low i like you know the total points and rebounds um a 20 and a half i'll take the over there miles turner is one of those guys who's uh, kind of frustrating because he has kind of all the potential in the world but the consistency really isn't there but this is a guy once again you know coming in averaging 12 and 7 on the season and it's a good spot. Like I kind of look and go, there's not going to be a ton of uh, a lot of rebounding opportunity. I feel like in this game going up against Miami's, you know, kind of shooters and down low and um, his points have been pretty consistent, really outside that golden state game where, you know, the big struggle as usual, but outside of that, I mean, he's been kind of consistently around 15, 16 points over the last few games. He's going to get those rebounds tonight um, against a, a weaker Miami front court. Um, so I think you take advantage of that here. Yeah, funny enough, that was the exact player prop I was looking at. But I'll I'll shout out uh, the points for Sabanis. Um, 18 and a half. I think it's a little low. I don't think this is as good of a value as the points plus rebounds for Miles Turner. But I still do think it's a value. And I think he ends up in the 20 to 25 range in this game. And it's minus 105. Um, we're seeing a lot of higher vigs on player props recently where it's like minus 115 both sides, minus 125 on both sides. So it's nice to see a, a minus 105 on a bet that I actually think is a value. <laughs> it's been a while. So I think that's going to wrap it up for our picks. Go over them one more time. We like the Indiana Pacers minus one and a half, the under at 208 and a half. Drew shouting out Kyle Lowry's double-double. We have Jason shining out the total points plus rebounds over 20 and a half for Miles Turner. And I like over on the points for Sabanis. So all in all, that gives you a plus 3000 parlay. Um, it's actually kind of a fun parlay. Don't know if I can once again recommend putting a bunch of money on the same game parlay like this. But they are fun to do and they are fun to uh, try and create. Um, let's go wrap it up for this one. As always, you can click subscribe and the bell to get notified when our videos go up. If you like this one, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike and comment down below your favorite bets for this primetime game. And as always, we'll see you for the next one very soon.